Welcome to this video tutorial on creating a slider in Power BI using the HTML with Creator Visuals. In this tutorial, we will go step by step with the HTML and CSS to create exactly like this report here for sliders. By the end of this video, you will have the skills you need to create sliders that empower your audience to interact with your data in meaningful way. So let's get started. Here is our slider. And we will remove this and start from the beginning. So let's start now by creating the HTML with create reflex. And here we will need to create a new major. So this measure, let's give it the HTML name and inside it, we will create our HTML code. So first we will start with the body and of course, don't forget to close every tag you create. And now we will create a div with the class name, we will give it slider holder. This div that will contain all the slider. So let's close the div and just one. And now let's close the div. And inside it, we will create three span. So this is the first span. And let's close span. And in each span, we will add an ID. As example, slider image number one. And we will duplicate this span as number two and number three. So the span elements act as indicator for each image in the slider. They are used to navigate. After the span, we will add the div that contain our images. So let's give it a class name and the uh, name image holder. Let's close this div and inside it we will create our images. So let's switch the image and all the source of our image and also we will add a class for all the image that we named slider image and for the image tag we don't need to close it like this no but just create the image and you can close it like this so i have already here the link of my image and the same thing let's duplicate the image here is the slide 2 the png and the slide 3 now i create all my image and after this div, I will add the button. So inside the image holder, here, this div, there are three image elements. These are the image that you want to display in your slider. 
each image is represented by an img tag so now we will create a div that contain our button let's give it a class button holder also let's close this div and inside it i will create three links so to create the links we use the a tag with the link here and also i will give them the class so the class name that really help us in the css and we will see that in the css measure so here's the slider change and we will keep it empty and close the jack and here in the link we will use our id here and to use the id we will use like this now simply we copy and paste so here's second and third image now i will enter to validate and let's uh, so in summary this code set up a basic image slider with navigation buttons okay so when a user click on a button the slider navigate to the associated image using the link i will enter and let's see the results so here is our html and paste it here and as you can see here is our images three images here of course we can't see the buttons or the spans because they are empty now we will go to the css to style this slider after that i will go to the html and i will copy all the code and paste it here to explain well and keep you in touch and now let's close this and let's create a new measure for the style and let's give it a css name and let's start first i need you to know to style every tag in the html we use the class so to style the class name like slider holder we do a point and the class name and that's it and if we need to style the id name we copy the id name and we use the hashtag and here is the difference between the class and the id so now i will start just with the slider holder for starting the main container that holds the slider and i will set the width and the height so let's set the width and the height in the width i will give it 800 pixel and the height i will use 500 pixel also i will add a background color let's keep it white as the dashboard of power bi and also i will give them an overflow item so hide overflowing the content within the slider container and the last thing i will center all the thing in this div so let's give it text align and center it 
now we add the style of this slider holder i will go now to the image holder this div that contain all the image so let's copy name and be sure that you use exactly the same name in the code in html in the image holder i will set the width but i will use the width here is 800 and multiple by the number of our image in our example we have three image so we you can calculate 800 multiple of three so the result is two four double o pixel and the height will be 400 pixels as an example now we will use position relative to set the position at the normal position and the last thing here is the transition and we will use left and as example two second or three second as you want of the time of transition so here we apply transition effect to the left property with a two second duration so now third thing that we will style is the image in the slide this slider image here so we will style all this image here so for the image we will give them a float all of them left so we float here image to the left within the image holder and we will give them also the position to their normal position and we will use exactly the same height here and also the same width of the slider holder so let's set the width in 800 pixels And the height, same as the image holder, is 400 pixels. Now, we will pass to the other thing. Is styling image holder when first image is targeted. So to start, we will use the ID name. And as I told you in the first we will use the hashtag to silent ID and I will use when targeting. Also, let's use it when the image holder. Now, what I did is styling for the image holder when the first image is targeted so let's give it a style for the first image we don't have anything to add so we will keep the left in the simple position it's zero pixel and we will repeat this with old image but we will change the number of the slide image and also we'll change the left. So the first image is in the zero pixels. The second, which is the first image, has a 800 pixels. The second is the left, will be the negative 800 pixels. And the third we will be two images here so the first image second and the third will be a negative one six double o now we have had all the targeted image when they click the last thing that's still here is styling the button 
I enter to see the result here. Here is our result first image that takes 800 pixels and also I will add I will center the image here. So let's continue. Now we will style the bottom holder. To the bottom I will use positions, the relative position, and also I will use the top to keep the buttons in the bottom. So I will use as example 14 pixels. Now I will add the style. As you can see here we have a link, an empty link here, we don't have any text, but I will add some style for them. So I will copy name of slider and let's now add for them some style. So to add the style, we will add a display inline block. So to display buttons in line within the button holder and also you need to set the width and the height. We will use 12 pixels and the height also 12 pixels. And now I need to apply a circular border radius to create a circular shape. So I will add border radius and 15 pixels to give a radius to the border and in the end we will add a background color to this and let's use the orange color and now we will enter and see our result here like you see here here is our buttons here and here is our image when we click that switch between the slides like you see here. Here is the first image as we see in the left zero pixels. The second that will be after 800 pixels and the third will be after two 800 pixels. And there you have it. You have successfully learned how to create a slider in Power BI using the HTML for Create Reflex. We hope this tutorial has been valuable in expanding your Power BI skills. If you have any questions, please leave them in comments, like the video, and subscribe our channel for more tutorial about Power BI. Thank you for watching this video.